Hi everyone, it's Melanie. I have another little project to share with you today. And it's this altered cigar box, which I picked up at a car boot sale, which I think I paid about 50 pence for. Um, the box was in quite good condition, so I didn't have to do much to it. I just sanded it down lightly, um, and then I painted it with um, the Pearl Mother of Pearl acrylic paint. Um, and then I used the Prima Fairy Rhymes papers, which I'll just turn the box around so you can have a look at everything. Um, all the edges are distressed, and I did add a little bit of gesso on the uh, paper as well. The bottom I covered with these clear pebbles, and also added another one to the front of the box which um, helps to fasten, which is to fasten the box with this um, beaded trim. You did some moulding paste on the front and just slightly inked that with walnut stain. Um, around the edge of the box I added this pretty lace trim with the beading on it and on the front here I tore the pages back and um, added a wild orchid craft flower and a little piece of lace trim um, and then I inked the edges of the paper again uh, with the, the Tim Holtz walnut stain and then <clears throat> on the top of the box I added a chipboard frame and I lifted that up on a dimensionals so that um, you could actually slot a very small picture behind there if you wanted to. I painted that again in the uh, Mother of Pearl acrylic paint. Um, I used some rub and buff in antique gold on the edges and a little bit of gesso. And then I added um, a piece of chicken wire which I gessoed and fussy cut this tape measure from the papers. And then I used, um, these are Prima uh, flowers, just show you them quickly. And uh, they're Ceylon Attic. And you can see a piece cut out there from the card. Um, I actually used that <clears throat> as the clock on the corner because some of their packaging is so... Um, so nice that I um, thought I might as well use use a little bit of it. So uh, under the flower there I added uh, some tool and eyelash trim <clears throat> and then these two flowers, this one and the one over there that is, these are Prima flowers again and they're called Tasha Gold And then I added a little metal piece at the top there, which um, I actually used gesso on that to begin with, uh, but I weren't really happy with the with the effect. So over the top of that, I used um, rub and buff in antique gold, and uh, so it just gave a little bit of an antique look to the flower. Um, and then another little metal piece, added another little metal piece um, in the corner there. Uh, these are wild orca craft flowers as well, or roses rather. Um, this is a butterfly from the, I fussy cut from the papers and added a couple of little gems there. So I think that's the front. <clears throat> and then inside again I added some more Prima Fairy Rhymes paper inside which I distressed the edges uh, and then I added this rosette trim cream rosette trim which also comes from Wild Orchid Crafts and I thought the I love the fairies in these papers 
um, so I thought it looked really really good it came out really good <clears throat> adding the little fairy in the corner there and it's just a nice little box you could use it as a trinket box photo box memory box anything like that really so that's it that's uh, my project for today and I just want to say thank you to everybody for watching um, I love reading all your comments um, and I hope you all have a very crafty day and I'll speak to you again soon. Bye.